Hello and blessings, beautiful souls. Sarava and Ashe to you. How are you going today? Are you having an amazing day? I really hope so. It's so nice to be looking into your beautiful smiling faces. So today's going to be a bit of a mellow day, actually, because I'm feeling a bit mellow. I've got a hair mask in. I've got a lip mask on. I've just got stuff on my face and I'm trying to nurture a bit today because it's been a bit of a big week. Not a hugely stressful week, but a bit of a big week. And so I think it's really important to sometimes call into action that um, self-love practice. And while I'm not the type of person that likes to bang on about self-love, I am a person that has a very healthy grasp on my self-love, which is why I rarely ever talk about it. It's because I have it in check. <laughs> Anyways, one of the ways that I like to deal with that aspect of self-love is specifically to nurture myself. I don't place the responsibility of treating myself well, nurturing myself, pampering myself. I don't place that responsibility in anyone's hands but my own. And when I shifted into that kind of mindset, I would have been around 22 years old, 21, 22 years old. I was working with the goddess Aphrodite and she is a powerful force for this kind of deep transformative understanding of self. And so today, in honor of all of that that I've just mentioned, I am pampering myself. Tonight I'm going to be doing a beautiful face mask and I'm going to be up in my cottage using some of Elder Crow's amazing chakra balancing spray and I'm going to do a meditation today and I'm going to continue editing the massive unboxing <laughs> for Elder Crow's products that I did yesterday, which was three witch's chest all rolled into one and vlog and all of that kind of business. So yeah, it's going to be a really, really mellow, fun, relaxing, nurturing day. <sighs> chakra balancing spray from Elder Crow and I had such an incredible experience when I unboxed it and I just you know haphazardly sprayed it around next minute I was like "Ooh!" I mean you saw it I don't have to go on about it and I also considering my theme for today I'm contemplating using the love potion perfume just contemplating it I was toggling between the Divine Mother and the Love Potion. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to be using this Sweet Love Sugar Scrub tonight. So when I do my face mask and take everything off, yes, I'm going to use the Love Potion. I'm thinking that that's probably the best idea. And so I want to have a nice little meditation session today because... That's what I feel like. I, sometimes I just need to gift myself with this beautiful meditation session, light my candles, read my cards, do that kind of thing, and just mm, nurture. <laughs>
is a beautiful one. It's Root Shields Bay Laurel. Here it is. And sorry about the nails, they have to they have to be done this afternoon as well. So I wanted to read to you this beautiful whoops, this beautiful message here. Broken things open us to mend towards better visions. Here lies a protective reef, incomplete, or is it? Vulnerability provides us great strength, imagination, and a kind of foresight only born of memory. Daphne, the water-driven nymph, eluded an ancient advance through transformation. In the face of perceived weakness, she changed, held sway, became our laureled essence of protection. This shield was built from battered truths, embraced the open wreath and root. Isn't that beautiful? I'm telling you, this deck is exactly what I need at this moment in time. Like, mm, I'm very impressed with it. I just got a call from a friend of mine who's having a few car issues. It's that Merc retrograde thing. And seeing as my hubby ran over his phone, <laughs> I am going to go and attempt to rescue her and potentially jumpstart her car. So I'm putting everything on pause here at the moment. And we're just gonna head out and have an adventure. <laughs> just a note to self, it's really, really good to have one of these. This is dad's. This is a multi-function car jump starter. Very handy. Well, after our jump starting adventures this morning, I dropped my darling friend off to playgroup where I met up with my darling husband and my little one. And I scored some plum sauce out of it, some homemade plum sauce to have with some kind of cracker and camembert. See folks, you do a good deed, you end up with a treat. And now I am rewarding my father over here uh, with some brunch because I pulled him out of his cozy bed this morning to assist me in this jump start effort. <laughs> and so we're having an early lunch and then back to the cottage. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back, I want you, hit you up, I'm on the other side, I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came, your weight is strong, cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof, auto. My baby girl has fallen asleep. Look at how cute she is. <sighs> Outside. I didn't want to disturb my little one, so I came outside and... Bye, Dad! <laughs> my father's just driving out of the driveway right now, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how, as witches and practitioners of the mystic arts, yes, we can call it that, that by really catering to our self-love, we increase our potency and our power. Whenever we connect with the importance of our body, whenever we connect with the importance of our mind, of our ability to create, whenever we cleanse our chakra systems, align our subtle body, whenever we ground and center and meditate and do these types of things, whenever we care for our skin and eat the right foods, and whenever we really nurture our cerebral capacity by feeding it good books and good information and good sleep and all the other bits and pieces, we actually increase the potency of power that runs through each and every one of us. As witches, we are the conduits to the divine in the same way as I describe the element of water. We are made of liquid blood, we are encased uh, in, in flesh and we are, we are supported by bone. 
and we are so so fragile yet so powerful all at the same time and it's important to show ourselves that love always 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 remembering that we are so deeply worthy and that if we are going to show love towards anyone it's ourselves it's our most beloved people that we are to show love to our beautiful children our partners who nourish and cherish us our family members our circle of friends and so self-love at times for me it's been a case of reflection and so if i'm giving self-love to myself i'm also radiating out that love in all directions to the people that i choose to bring closer to me and bring into my life and the life of my family these people and their energies they enhance my energetic field they enhance my biosphere they enhance my day-to-day -day. they enhance my life in a way and I always want to make sure that when I am not in the best state of mind, when I'm not feeling that self-love, when I'm not feeling nurtured, when I'm sick, you know, under the weather of, you know, that, that kind of way where we're, we can get a bit funky, you know, due to low immunity and all that kind of business, I try to remove myself from the company of others. And I think that this is a very natural and normal thing that we do. Even in our schools, we are taught that if our children are sick, don't bring them to school because we don't want to spread that to everyone else. Likewise, when you're not giving yourself enough love, like don't go out there and, and share it with other people because you don't have enough of it to share. You need to focus it on yourself. You need to remind yourself to nurture yourself. You have to take the time to fill your cup. Look at how I'm talking right now because I'm passionate. You have to take the time to fill your cup. You cannot give to anyone else unless your cup is full. And so nurture yourself. Focus on nurturing yourself. Make yourself a priority. Make yourself an important element in your life and make loving yourself, nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, something that is divinely sacred, your right and at, at its very core, so completely necessary to the quality of life that you live, the bee. The B, did you see the B? <laughs> so there you have it, beautiful souls. I just thought that I would share that impassioned speech with you. And I'm going to now go and sit in, in peace and take off my nail polish because this is what I've been doing. You know what happens when your nail polish starts coming off? You start to like at it. I also want to take this time to mention to all those who comment about my earrings, this is what they look like. They're little woven baskets. They're not, you know, Egyptian in nature. They're just little woven baskets and I love them. And they're fixed. They don't dangle. They're like a, a whole thing. And they've got little moonstones. Yes, so I acquired these bad boys in the Spellbox shop in Melbourne while I was at the So Below event and I love them and I have lost a pair and then refound them so they already have a really whimsical story attached to them and when I find earrings that I love I rarely ever wear anything else until they literally fall apart break disappear or are lost in some way shape or form so there you have it self-love some stories about my earrings and that's it for today beautiful souls I am going to spend this afternoon focusing on myself, finish my hair mask, put a face mask on, and all before I have to pick the kids up from school, which is only about 45 minutes away. So it's been a day of, of just beautiful, tender nurturing of the self and of helping out friends and of spending quality time with my dad, of like, snuggling up to my beautiful baby girl and just you know sharing facets of my life with you so thank you for hanging out with me today thank you so much for sharing this type of space with me thank you for all the beautiful comments that you leave thank you for all the support that you're giving me at this very moment in time if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do so i would love to have you as part of my community here in perfect love and perfect trust i am leaving you there have a, an amazing day and i will speak to you tomorrow